uh, review of a, a movie that a lot of people say it's bad. You could say it's a bad horror movie, a bad sequel. The Hill Dead Rise Part 2. I want to take a drink. I remember seeing it, I think, on Showtime, late 80s, and then renting it. And uh, I always like the cover. I think the cover is really cool. I think it's even better than part one. The, the Reaper looks cool. Pluto, he has like a cooler costume in this one than he does in part one. And uh, like I said, a lot of people say it's bad, but uh, and I, I looked up stuff about it. I heard that, uh, well, I read that the Craven is like, doesn't like this movie, or he admits he did it uh, just for a paycheck. Um, also read that like, the studio shut down filming, so that's why it has a lot of <coughs> that's why it has a lot of uh, footage from the first one. But when I when I saw it, I, I saw this one before I, I saw The Hill Dead Rise Part One. So like, uh, I'm pretty sure I knew it was a uh, it was from the first one. But I was like, man, what what is all this stuff? I want to see. What happened before this one? So it, it just made me more interested in this. Um, I also read that there's a director's cut. I don't know if that's true, but I mean that'd be great if there was. If there was more footage of it. Um, also, what I like about it, it has a uh, Michael Berryman in, in another movie. I mean he's great. He was great in Part One. It's always good to see him in a movie, and uh, he's always good. And I thought he was good in this. And, um, other reviews I read say it's just like an 80s slasher. I don't see what's wrong with that. Uh, the Reaper, like, uh, Papa Juke's older brother. People complain about that, but then, I mean, I didn't really care where he came from. Uh, the actor that played him, John Bloom, I looked him up. Uh, he was 7'4". I was like, man, uh, I'm 5'3". So that's two feet taller and, and an inch than I am. I mean, sure, he's really, he was really intimidating. He was, he was pretty scary. I mean, they could have made a movie just about him. He was also in uh, Bachelor Party. Remember Milt? When they send him to pick up the hookers for the Indian pimp. Uh, there's a part where he's in the elevator. You know, surrounded by all the girls. And he just towers over all of them. Um, another thing, the, the music is done by Perry Manfredini. And he did the music for... For Jason, and for Friday the Thirteenth, so the score is good. Um, I mean, I watched it again, and I mean, I've seen it so many times. It, it um, you know, I'm used to it, so and I can see how it, it doesn't hold up as well as other movies. Um, but it's, it's it's still pretty good. It's, it's a a good 80s horror movie, and compared to movies made today or in the 90s, I'd rather watch this than a lot of those movies. Um, yeah, it's not it's not that gory. Um, at the end, you see like some of the bodies um, that the Reaper killed. <coughs> um, also, like how it had Ruby, you see her. She left the family and, and uh, I guess hooked up with, with Bobby, and, and she changed. Uh, I mean, another thing people talk about the flashback. Um, the dog has a flashback. I, I never really, that never really bothered me. I didn't think that was a big deal. It was kind of funny. Um, the fact that Pluto survived, and I mean, he pretty much died in the first one, but I'm glad they brought him back. So, um, I looked it up on Amazon, it, this is about 10 bucks, and I didn't even know they have a Blu-ray, and that's 10 bucks too. Uh, the cover's different, I really like this one. Uh, I would buy this, I would buy both, if you have a Blu-ray and this one. Another thing I found out, is that they have a novelization, and that's, that was kind of expensive, it was like 20 bucks, and I would like to get that, see if, uh. It just has more of the story. Um, 
I also read that there's a part three. Has anyone ever heard of that? I've never heard anything about a part three. Um, I, I really doubt there is, but if there was, I really I don't think it would have come after this and show much of uh, the actors and the characters and from here. Um, but uh, I think it's, it's a good movie. I brought it from Kyle. I'm in Kyle's closet right now. Maybe do, I can do some more of these because Kyle's got a lot of good movies too that I, I can review. And um, I think that's pretty much it. There's a, I had a lot to say about about this one, but uh, I like it, and uh, I think it's a, it's a it's a good enough sequel. I mean, there's so much they could they could do with the Hills Have Eyes. I mean, yeah, there, there could be a part three and four and uh, expand on it. Um, but the, the, again, the Reaper, he was, he was really scary. I think uh, if they would have done another one, it should be about him. And, uh, you don't want to dedicate this review to John Bloom because he, he's so great. Um, he's in a lot of other movies. He played Frankenstein and uh, other monsters. Two giants. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm going to take another drink. Um, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, I, I hope people check it out. I hope people um, comment if they, like, if they like this movie or if they don't like it. Um, that's fine. But uh, uh, there's nothing bad about this movie. Uh, um, I really like it. And, uh, um, that's a cool picture. And here's the back. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Last thing, I, I just got this today. Hooper from Jaws. I want to thank Dom for getting this for me. I really appreciate it. I really like it. Thanks. And um, going to do more reviews, more reviews of, uh, of just movies that don't get reviewed too much. And, uh, and I'm going to do more book reviews, too. I mean, I'm going to do some book reviews. I haven't done any, but I'm going to do more uh, book reviews. I've got a lot of books that I like to talk about. So thank you for watching, and, and there's more reviews to come. Thanks.